The state chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC in the South South region have endorsed Delta Central Senator Ovie Omagege for the position of the Deputy Senate President in the Night Assembly. The chairman said their support for the senator was born out of his loyalty to President Muhammad Bukhari and the federal government. Still with me in the studio is Ugochukui Kaako, a political analyst, and of course, Fumi Dosumu Ayola. Thanks for staying. Thank you for having us. All right, we're back to it. <laughs> Endorsement. <laughs> the night assembly has not started, but we've seen so much Nollywood drama around it. Who is going to be mm -hmm. the Senate, mm -hmm. uh, Senate leader, mm -hmm. the deputy, and all of that? What do you make of this latest endorsement? Let me start with the lady. Okay, so this was something I think was pushed down the truth of the South Side, South South um, legislators. It wasn't something that they came up with all by themselves. What they just did was add an endorsement to it. Now, when I hear the word endorsement, I know that it is, and we know this is politics. Let's, let's be very clear. Politics in Nigeria, you don't endorse Bear anything. Bear in mind that Omar Gege hasn't actually come out to air his intention. This is just them writing to the president exactly, and the and National Working Commission. Exactly. Now, this is how it works. This is politics. You know, this is how people maneuver themselves and manipulate themselves into power. Some person comes out and endorses you. And how do you do that? A lot of things have gone behind the scene, you know. So that somebody's coming out and does him, I'm not sure that they 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 made it. It was, it was their decision. I think it was something that they they were. I won't use the word coerced, but they were manipulated. I don't want to use the word manipulated either. I'm so which word are you going to use? <laughs> they, they were they were toasted. Or I, I'm looking for the right word to use. <laughs> Into, 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 into cajole. It could be cajole, cajole, but you know you cajole people in different ways. Okay. There's cash cajoling. There's um, you know. Threats, well, what, what, what's you your know? thought on yeah. that? Yeah. Well, I, I think I think we're, we're seeing a lot of drama so far. Uh, at the point uh, we heard the name of uh, Senator Remy Tinubu, that's the wife of. Uh, yeah, a lot of persons, IPC. even Oju Zakalo. Oju Zakalo. Oju Zakalo. You see, see there's this thing that happened. Like, so for example, uh, sometimes you just wake up and. A group of faceless people will not say that uh, we've, we've endorsed this person. These are not faceless people. These I'm, are I'm state not, chairman. I, 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 I say sometimes. I say sometimes. This is on this particular particular okay. issue, right? So, but on this issue, right? Uh, South South uh, South South. Uh, what's called? Uh, party, 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 party chairman. Uh, party chairman for APC. Who do they, who do they report to? Who is like number one of the number one ranking official there in within? Is 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 a senator Magege? It's easy for him to call these guys in a meeting, exactly. all right? Talk to them. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, see, push mm -hmm. me. Just come mm -hmm. out and say that you've endorsed me, mm -hmm. so that our zone will not be left out. At the end of the day, his end game might not be to be deputy senate president. His end game might be to have uh, maybe a the principal position so. in the next national assembly, which is fine, all right? Yeah, like, like they said, the game is the game. Make He's trying much possible to That's make sure politics, that he, he, yeah. he plays the game and gets himself inside, inside the equation. But, but the truth is, the truth is this, all right? Um, we already have uh, Senator Remitinibu name out there who we'll have his name currently out there so uh, i think it's, it's good because for me if you ask me i want i want to believe i want i want to believe within myself that is the party chairman they didn't just wake up like you like had like a, a an idea that one one this guy this is the best guy maybe something has happened uh, behind that we're not privileged to and it's okay let's support our own like they do it in nigeria this person is our own let's support him first of all is, is he just i i know this might sound like a mundane question but it's important i ask the question is he the most viable candidate that has won a seat in the senate to come from the south south that is most qualified for this for this position for me it's not see for me for me it's not all right mm. for the apc the apc savory that is most uh, the party chairman said he's most qualified this is the same guy a few years back that stole or uh, stole the maze from the national assembly like there was an issue so for me he has not exhibited the character that is required to be a leader he's only a uh, character trait that the south south uh, party chairman said that he's loyal to the president He's loyal to his party. We are not looking for somebody that is going to be lo that will be loyal to the president and to his party. All right. Well, he has excused his conduct with the maze. He has excused his conduct. You see, 
is, is an excuse for us. It, it doesn't cut it. All right? let me, let me. If, 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 if things don't go your way in the National Assembly, and you feel that the best thing to do is to take the maze, which is the symbol of authority in the National Assembly, and a few years later, you are coming back to ask that same National Assembly, uh, the people to vote you in. What are you going to do? When He's already voted in a senator. No, no, I'm asking you no, no, yeah, no, 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 to, to, to be the deputy senate president. What are you going to do when you have issues? So, so for me, I don't think he has a character trait as let a person to, to be the advocate kind of here. You see, I have come to the conclusion that a lot of people who go to the house, eh, they're not there because of the people. They're there for their own selfish and manipulative interest. All they're interested in is, what do I get out of this? It's not a function of, well, how do I help the people? Or how do I make sure the people benefit from my, from my position when I get there? Everybody's going there for some some personal gain. Shouldn't that worry us? That is where we should be looking at. You know, when a group of people come out and say we endorse this person because he is loyal to the president, I begin to wonder. Is that what we're looking for? Is it loyalty to the president that's the most well, important the thing have, for us? Have, no. have, they've been in the news. They've been in the news, known for saying that some people are not loyal to the party. Some people have been uh, conducting themselves in ways that present them as, you know, enemies of the party, even though they're there. They've even accused some of their members of being spies. You know, so when a party fronts that kind of argument, that loyalty to the party is very, very important, would you fault these men mm -hmm. for saying saying that they should, their person should be considered because, because he is loyal, loyal to the at, president. At this point, Nigeria should be worried, we should. all right? Because we, we, so we're talking about a different arm of the government, all right? Uh, we have the executive, we have the legislature, we have the judiciary, all right? And if we truly claim that we have a democracy in 2019, exactly. in May 2019, we shouldn't be looking for people well, that will rubber stamp the, yes, the, 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 the plans yes. or whatever the president has, all right? The idea, the, the reason why the people that uh, made democracy possible to then and give us the trade arm of government. The reason we have the legislation yes. is to check me, not to rubber stand. Exactly. We don't need a plant national assembly. Believe me, all right. If somebody is coming to your office to ask for a job, and the person, the person, the person is not saying, okay, I have understanding of the law. I have, I, I know the kind of laws that Nigeria need that will make this country move forward. And the person is coming to tell you that yeah, the that only I'm thing that I can do for you is that I'm loyal, loyal, loyal to, to I'm loyal to, I'm loyal to you. So we what do need to, that, is, that, that is beyond the conversation. That, the conversation. I don't have an issue with APC bringing up people to say, say this is the person, but we need them. We need the party chairman, whoever is bringing out anybody. Say, well, that's not And does this person based on this person's capacity? Do you right? have something to add to that? No, I was just going to say that I had that. I've always had that problem with the APC. I mean, you go to local. I, my person, my local government. You get there, you're trying to get some some information. You're trying to get something out. The first thing they ask you is, where's your party card? You must be a member of the APC in my local government, before I can get anything done. It's amazing. I'm like, you know, because everybody wants to be loyal to the party, the first one of the first few things they ask you, they almost, almost force you. Well, I guess that's why I, I had to bring up that question, because if a party is fronting loyalty as a key criteria because for juicy be. appointments, then you wouldn't fault people so much for them coming up. But you are entitled to your opinions, as, just as a Nigerian watching this uh, program no. is. But let's, let's move this conversation a little further right. and look at the number of people that are showing interest in the leadership of the night assembly which is yet to be inaugurated by the way there's so much heat about it does this point to or seemingly confirms the splits within the apc as is being alleged because so many candidates from different angles coming in to bear for leadership let me let me start with the lady this time apc is the is the condom of different um different parties there's, there's never been whole you know, it's an amalgamation, that's the word to use, of different parties that came together because they had the common goal. But APC as a party has really never been won. Is that true? Is that, do you agree with because that? Because you have APC in the south, separate from APC in the north, which is separate from the APC in the... Um, yes, as, because, you know, it was a case of... You don't of, have faction. It was a case do you of, have, are, you, are you saying that it's mean, No, it's not faction in that sense. But they all didn't have... The only one single agenda they had together, the one goal that was a goal for them, was presidency. Outside presidency, the APC is fragmentized in the sense that outside presidency, the APC in the Northwest, they do their own thing. APC in North Central, APC in the Southwest, they are not... I would like, but it's like somebody said about Nigeria, that Nigeria, they just put us together, you know, that we're not 
that the Nigerian yeah, yeah, is you're trying to really say exist. that FEC is a, is a, a, an example is, is a special of what purpose Nigeria vehicle. Is. It's a special is a special purpose vehicle. <laughs> right. Let me hear your thoughts. But, but uh, for me, I think it's not, it's not a bad thing for people to aspire to to lead. Right. Already we we'll have names popping up and rest of them. But for me, I believe that we'll, even though it might not ha we, might, we might have a repeat of what happened in 2015, it might not be as huge as that. Right. Because at the moment we we'll have uh, we have party officials. We have. Uh, People that we elected as senators, House of Reps, saying want to do this, want to do that, all right? Uh, but the truth is this. Uh there are some things that people don't know. P people are doing this like Omar Gege, Senator Ovi, Omar Gege, and the rest of them. Because the truth is this. If you are among those that will be elected into principal office in the National Assembly, mm -hmm. what it means is that for the next four years, you're going to be part of the power players, all right? So mm -hmm. some people don't want to lose out in that power equation. And the PDP... They might, they might be in the opposition, but they still have the numbers that can cause APC some big problem. So sometimes when they come out, like Adam Soshimole comes out and just says something, I just want to say, you used to be a governor. So, right, so you need to understand that there's a room where the opposition and the main yeah, party should yeah, work together. Exactly that is how it is done all over the world. So at the moment, it seems that APC is in, is in this triumphant mode. Right? You know, when you, when, you, when you want something, this triumphant moon, you think that, okay, the world is now level. Like, yeah, I, I can do everything. But that is not the truth. Because the truth is that in the next coming days and the next coming weeks, we're, we're going to see a lot of poli politicking, all right? Yeah. Some people in that's why they'll be shouting loyalty to the president, loyalty to the exactly. party, because they know, they're, they're calling themselves spies, because they know already that some people are not happy with the process. With the process so yeah. what, what exactly. most likely will happen is that they will work against the party's main candidate, have their own candidate, candidate use their own yeah, candidate yes. to advance their interests, because primarily, uh, this this is happened, a lot of interest. And that happened in 2015. If I remember 2015, the, the Friday before the Monday, when they were going to do the elections, APC had done a mock election for um, House of Reps. They had done a mock election where Honorable Femi Gbajabia Mela had, so to speak, won, won the um, speakership. You know, And over the weekend, come Monday, when they did the actual elections, he lost. So just, do, do you see a reaction? coming for this endorsement because they said they've written to the president and the national working committee mm -hmm. of the apc mm -hmm. are you expecting any reaction let me let me still stay with you any reaction from them well it since um you know if you have the name of like a senator in that mix right and it is and it is obvious that she's a contender i'm very sure we will get a reaction very soon do you? Is it reaction? Is it from the party? Or from, from the, the presidency and the party. From Buhari himself. Because so far, it just seems like is, is he's it, just no, saying. The president it, has it, said it, it clearly it, that it, every man is on his own. Because, you see, the president as well, he's trying as much as the people that are working yeah, with my president. That he's trying as much as possible to be neutral in exactly, this. All right? yes. Because at, at the end of the day, you, you don't want to get caught up in your, in your own party politics. Because as, as it stands, it's True. difficult to yeah. convince adults that have been playing politics for the last 20, 30 years to go on a common go where it does not benefit them. So the best is to just keep quiet, allow keep them to do their job, thing. Yeah. Whoever is the winner, all right. But there's some people. If for me, I think if Remy Tinubu is, is will, will contest as deputy senior president, she might have a good shot, all right, because of uh, her husband's influence and uh, uh, being in the Senate for a long while, being being that she's a one of the uh, highest ranking female yeah, she's female, yes, female senator in, in, yes. in the hallowed chambers yes. for a long time. So, but it is, for me, I think we're, we're going to see some surprises in the next coming days. Mm -hmm. All the people that they've mentioned: Goje, Lawan, mm -hmm. Bajamila, Agege, mm -hmm. and. Yeah, it, 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 it's fine, all right. These these are names. We're, we're bound to see more, right? Because at the end of the day, people are going to come out. Because, well, for example, the let's, for example, let's say that maybe I, I want to be the chairman of the House Appropriation of Finance, and I know that if I come out, I can negotiate with Bajamila and say, "Okay, see, I'll, get, I'll support you." All right, you, my exactly. camp will support you. Mm -hmm. But what happens is that when you get in, you're going to give me the juicy yeah, committee. Exactly. So that is the game that was That's in at the yeah. Well, they're quite interesting, although fortunate for some Nigerians, because at the end of the day, <laughs> might not be the right person that will be in that position. Thank you very much for coming on the Thank program. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. All right, we move away to Plus Politics Package. And when we return, I will give you my take. Stay with us. The Senate has confirmed the nomination of Abike Dabiri Erewa as the chairperson and chief executive officer of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission. Dabiri Erewa, until her appointment, has been the senior special advisor to President Muhammad Buhari on diaspora matters. Abike Dabiri was the one while in the House that brought about that bill on diaspora 
it became a, a law by virtue of uh, its passage. And now we have a commission. And um, by due providence, she happens to be the special advisor to the present government. And she's been compensated to do what she has worked on. This is like compensating hard work, diligence, commitment, and I believe that if we all latch in into this, it will assist our country and encourage a lot of young ones and those who are serving to do more. The Senate Committee on Diaspora and Non-Governmental Organization, having screened and after a careful scrutiny of the curriculum vitae and other accompanying documents of the nominee, and having regard to her exposure, experience in government, politics and public service, performance, qualifications and competence recommends Honorable Abike Dabri Erewa as Chairman Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission. So which colleagues, the Senate and the Committee of the Whole consider the report of the Committee on Diaspora and Non-Governmental Organization on the screening of Mr. President's nominee for appointment as the Chairman Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission and approve the nomination of Honorable Abike as Chairman Chief Executive Officer of Nigerians in the Diaspora Commission. Is this a true reflection of what transpired in the Committee of the Whole? Will the Senate hereby confirm the nomination of Honorable Abike Dabri Erewa for appointment as Chairman Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerian Diaspora Commission? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. The nomination of Honorable Abike Dabri Erewa is hereby confirmed as Chairman, Chief Executive of the Nigerian Diaspora Commission. Rocha Sokorocha, Governor of Imo State, has accused the leaders of the All Progressive Congress, APC, of frustrating his return to the Senate. Okorocha defected from the PDP to the All Progressive Grand Alliance, ABGA, where he contested and won the 2011 governorship election. The outgoing governor had been declared a winner of the 2019 senatorial election in Imo West. But the Independent National Electoral Commission withdrew his certificate of return. The commission based its action on the complaint of Francis Ibeuchi, the returning officer for the election who said he declared Okorocha under duress. Now, Governor Okorocha has gone to court and he, he should allow the law take its course duly. The right to fair hearing takes precedence over all other issues. Thank you for watching. My name is Felicity Ezewike. Plus Politics is back on Monday.